Hello beautiful people! In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I tried a sample of and that the sample made me buy it. I'm going to start with, I realized when I laid my stuff out here to do this video I have a lot of face stuff and not a lot of like eyeshadows or lipstick because when do you ever really get a, a sample of a lipstick or an eyeshadow or a highlight for example and then you buy the full size? Not really ever from my personal experience, mine is the one, uh, those little Becca highlighters, but nothing has ever made me want to buy it in that aspect. So I'm going to start from the bottom up, so to speak. I'm going to start with primers, go through concealer, foundation, powders, I have a couple bronzers, and then I have some skincare that I will leave to last. If you're not interested in that, then you can click out. But yeah, let's just get right started. So... The first thing is the Smashbox Primerizer. So basically with this product here, this was purchased by me, when was it, last year, the year before that maybe? I tried to say a small sample of it that came in probably a Sephora order or whatever. And I tried it and that was the first year that my skin was struggling with moisture. Um, it was both oily and dry like it is now. And I tried it and it's still to this day one of the only things I can put on my skin as a single product use and then apply my foundation and my skin does not feel overly dry or tight. So I love it and I am about that much of the way through already and I'm definitely going to buy more. I love it. The next primer is the only primer that I pretty much ever use other than a moisturizing one is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I have a couple, I have the original sample, I, I believe this might be the original, either this one or I, I think I have another little trial size one. Uh, so I purchased this, I used it all up, I kept the glass container in case I ever wanted to travel with it, I don't, even though I don't really travel like anywhere. I did end up buying the massive one which has lasted me quite a while. Thank goodness, because it was pretty expensive, but I also have this little one here in case I ever do need to go, you know, overnight or for a weekend. I do have a little sample size that I can take with me, but the sample, the trial size made me buy this. I fell in love with it, and I've been in love with it ever since. I just hope they don't change the formula because I will probably cry. Moving right along to concealers, I guess we'll do that next. I haven't bought the full size yet of this, but I'm actually waiting until the VIB sale. Hopefully that's coming this month. And it is the NARS, oh I forgot to get the name of this. I will include um, the name of it here. But it's Creamy Concealer, it's the one in the little pot. I still have a sample, this is this little sample that I'm working on. I just took it out of the sample pack and I keep it in a little old MAC container, MAC sample container. And I've been using that every day. I use it to cover the dark circles on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm going to buy the full size of this when the next VIB sale comes out because I love this. It's beautiful. Even on days where I'm just like putting no makeup on, I just put a little bit on the inner corners and slap a little bit underneath my eyes here when I have a little bit of discoloration. And it blends so beautifully. It doesn't look like you're wearing any concealer at all. I love it. The next concealer sample that I have is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the actual original bubble pack that I got for it. I tried the shade Swan and Porcelain. Swan was a little bit too light for me, or so I thought. I tried Porcelain as well, and it was too dark for me, so I just went ahead and got the Swan shade. I tried to get it. I didn't want to buy more than one because this thing is... It's pretty big, and I'll probably like never finish it, let's be real here. I don't use a lot of concealer when I do put concealer on. Just use a little bit under my eyes here, and I blend it out. So this will last me a quite a long time. Again, it's the shade Swan that I got. I tried to mix a couple shades together in the store a couple times, just to try and, like, you know, fine-tune the shade, but I couldn't find the right shade for me so I just settled with Swan. In the summertime this will be too light though so I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the summertime. I might have to switch back to my MAC Pro Longwear. That was my go-to long time love of mine for years. Years! So I might just have to go back to that. The reason why I stopped going to that was I eventually found the pump on it. It squeezes out too much and I hated wasting it. So yeah. 
The next thing that I'll talk about, along the same vein as the Too Faced Born This Way, I'll move on to foundations, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I was looking for the name of it on here, but yeah. I tried to sample this. Now, this is probably a cheat, because at first when I had the sample of this, I didn't 100% know if I liked it. This was a couple years ago, when my skin was more oily and couldn't handle this, so I didn't try it again. I did love the coverage of it, like I love the way it made my skin look, but I just found I was getting too oily too soon, so I didn't buy it initially. I went back a year later maybe, yeah it was a year later because I kept thinking about it in the back of my head, I'm like I really like the way that finished, like I just wish I wasn't so oily that I my skin could handle it. So then when I went back to get a sample the, pre the following year, that's when I was like yes, my skin's changed enough, it's a little bit drier now so it can handle it, and uh, oh, Guys, like, I love this foundation so much. It's my go, well, one of my go-to uh, foundations for the winter time. Give me one second, I'm just going to go pick him up because he's not loving sitting back here right now. Okay, so he's going to join me for the, for the rest of the video. So anyways, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I ended up falling in love with, and I will definitely buy another one of these because I have never gone through a full size of a foundation before. This will be the, I'm about here now. And it's about time, I think after this summer, because this is my summer shade, I'm going to be in need of a new bottle. The next foundation that I purchased based on the sample that I absolutely fell in love with was the, I actually bought two different shades, one for my winter and one for my summer, is the Too Faced, nope, Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I have started to enjoy more of a sheer to light natural coverage over the past six months to a year. So when I originally tried this foundation out, I realized that it was perfect. Not only was it lightweight, it was not like super hydrating, but it wasn't super drying. It was a natural finish on my skin. So I decided to take the plunge and purchase it. And I obviously I waited for a sale to get the other one because, well, um, I like a sale. Who doesn't? So that's that foundation. I will move on to powders next. The powder that I absolutely love for covering pores right here, you're distracting me, yes you're distracting me, is the Stellar Cosmic Face Powder. Now I don't see anyone, like I don't see this talked about on YouTube at all, uh, not sure why because it's an amazing powder and I love it. I pretty much only use it to cover the pores on the inner corner here. I take uh, a damp uh, sponge and I just take a little bit and I just, you know, tap it in when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, I can't have you on my finger, my buff, my, my love. So this is the sample that made me buy it, or the trial size, and I ended up put, purchasing the full size because, again, I fell in love with it. I hope they don't discontinue this because it is amazing. But if they do, I'll just have to go on a hunt for something else. The next two powders that I want to talk about are both mini size. I haven't yet purchased the full size of them because I don't use a lot of powder whatsoever. I purchased this Too Faced Born This Way, so I basically have the whole line of the concealer, I have the foundation, and I have the powder for the Too Faced Born This Way. I really, really enjoy it. I use this on a daily basis to set my T-zone, my nose, and my chin. I just dust a little light. I just dust a little light dusting of powder on those areas there. I love this for the winter time because it's not so drying. And then for the summertime when the warmer months start to hit, I use the Fenty, what is this? Pro Filter. This was the shade Butter. It's one of the lighter ones. I used this today actually because I was playing around with different foundations and mixing oil in with my foundations because I'm not really going anywhere. I thought this would be the perfect time to play around with makeup. So those two powders I'm in love with. Sample made me buy it, or the trial size made me buy it. And then the next two things are bronzers, and they're both from Too Faced. Wow, there's a lot of Too Faced products in here, I just realized. Alright, anyways, uh, it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and then the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Both of these are actually still trial size. I haven't actually found the need to purchase a full size yet, but when I do, you betcha, I'm. it's an oldie but a goodie. But it's been, like I don't use very much bronzer at all. So that's taking me a very long time to go through. I don't even use it every day. I, I actually have a few bronzers that I do rotate towards. But this is also a sample one that I do love. And it's great for my winter skin. It is the, the Milk Chocolate Soleil. So it's a little bit lighter. Let's see. If, are you going to fall off there? So I just want to compare the two. So this one's the Milk Chocolate and this one's the Chocolate. A little bit of a shade difference there. But uh, I love... 
and they, they still both smell like chocolate, even though they're like, this is probably like a year old. Can you imagine? It took me a year to go through a, cho a sample of this bronzer. It's like, that's insane. Okay, moving right along to the last couple products I have. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if this counts again. This could be cheating, but the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. I got this in a... How did, I, how did this come? By itself? Did it come with something else? I have no idea. Anyways, it's a smaller size. They did come out with a bigger size of the Sweet Mouth lip... lip it's not lip balm. Yeah, gloss balm. So they did come out with a bigger size. I will be purchasing the bigger size because it is, I'm about right there on it. I don't know if you can see. I'm about to here on it and I love it. It's a great go-to. It doesn't give a lot of color. It just gives a beautiful shine to your lips. So that will be purchased when it's gone, a full size of that. I'm in love with it. And that completes the makeup portion of the sample made me buy it, sample slash trial size made me buy it. For the last three items that I have here, or two items, sorry, the first one is the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is the night one. So I have been using the Fresh, it's by Fresh by the way, I've been using the Fresh Day Cream for years, two, three, three plus years. I've gone through so many containers of it and I love it. This is the sample that I got and I have the other uh, bigger size in my bathroom that I just didn't bring in here. But it smells so good. As you can see, I'm almost gone, done with it. Now, when I'm not using um, my Drunk Elephant, I have a sample of this stuff here, the protein -y complex here. I'm using that currently at night just to get rid of it. It didn't wow me. It kind of leaves my skin a little oily when I wake up in the morning. But this here, I, I love. And when I'm not using that, I do use this. So... This is amazing. I will be buying the full size of this along with the oh, Lotus Youth Preserve. This is the face cream that I have purchased time and time and time again. So now they have a perfect pair. Okay, so then oh, I'm making a mess here. The last product I have is a face mask. And this is a little baby trial size that I got that I fell in love with. I didn't get the big, big, big tub because I don't use it all that often, but what I use this for is when I have breakouts, which I don't get them too often, but when I do, like right now I have a couple on my chin from stress or eating too much sugar or whatever the case may be, that time of the month, I just put this on at night and with the, like I put this on, was it last night? No, the night before. So I put this on my breakouts area, let it sit, let it dry with over the next couple days, like today and tomorrow, they're already starting to clear up and go away. I love it. The other one that I use, not that this is part of the video because it's not part of the sample made me buy it, but I just wanted to share with you guys that the other one that I like is the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purify Mask. This is one too that I really enjoy using in the summertime to help clear breakouts and clear excess oily skin. So not part of the video, sample, actually did the sample make me buy that? It might, because this is a trial size and I will probably purchase, no, is this not? No. So this technically can't be included because this is the second one I bought of this after I tried another mini sample. So there you go, inadvertently I did find another product of the sample made me buy it. It's like this really green weird color and it's cracking right now. But this is another one that I, I love putting on, just actually taking a Q-tip and putting it on the breakouts that I have overnight, letting it sit and then they pretty much shrink up by morning time, if not that night, the night after that. But yeah, two face masks that I love that I have purchased and I will purchase again. Alright guys, so I think that is it. I plan to do a follow-up video for this. The sample didn't make me buy it, and that list is a little bit longer. I have things written down on a piece of paper here so I don't forget. Um, but yeah, the sample didn't make me buy it list is a little bit longer than the sample made me buy it list. So, if you guys want to see that video, um, hit subscribe so you can not get notified when I upload a video next. I can't believe I've never said that in the video and I just worked it in. I kind of feel weird because I didn't want to say that. Everyone I feel like knows if you want to subscribe you know what to do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and you will see me in my next one. Bye!